Cat Sync TV. Hey everybody, Cat Sync TV. And in my deep dark youth, I was fascinated with the point where the function e over x crosses the function 1 over x. Looking at the graph, it was clear that it was some mysterious number between 1 half and 1. Now this was something I was able to compute with my trusty handheld calculator with just a couple of buttons repeatedly. Pressing e to the x and 1 over x over and over again until I got to this number. Now I became obsessed with this constant, but try as I might, I could not find a way to describe it. Now it turns out it has a name, the omega constant, and it is closely related to a function called Lambert's W function. And that is the topic of today's video. As we just stated, the omega constant is the solution to our original equation. We can reformulate that equation as e to the minus x equals x. So we can see that the omega constant is a fixed point of the function e to the minus x. Moreover, it's an attractor. We discussed fixed points and attractors in an earlier video. We'll put a link to that up here and in the description below. We can take the same fixed point program we wrote in the language Haskell for that other video and apply e to the minus x as the function argument. This gives us a relatively easy way to compute the omega constant. Now we can do this with any base, not just e. So we can compute the fixed point of 2 to the minus x and get this number. We can even do the same thing with pi and get its corresponding fixed point. Pretty cool, but there is also a deeper connection among all these fixed points. For that, we turn our attention to the Lambert W function. Now before we continue, I'd like to ask you to please subscribe to this channel, and please consider supporting us so that we may bring you more cultural content coming out regularly. Links to our merch store, Patreon, and Ko-Fi are in the description below. And if you like what you see here, please give us a thumbs up and share with your friends. Let's take our original equation and generalize it. So instead of 1 over x, it's any number y over x. Shifting things around, we get the function y equals x times e to the x. We can graph this. So all we need to do is flip this function over to get its inverse. This inverse function from x equals minus 1 over e out to infinity is the Lambert W function, named for Johann Lambert. It's sometimes called the product logarithm because it is the inverse of x times e to the x. When x equals 1, the value of this function is the omega constant. Now while this function is easy to describe graphically, it is more difficult to describe symbolically. In fact, there is no way to describe it in a closed form using elementary functions. That is, our basic operations, exponentiation, logarithms, or trigonometric functions. It can't even be easily expressed using simple sums or integrals. In other words, the lambda w function is a huge pain in the ass. <laughs> The best we can do is try and approximate it. We can get a good efficient approximation using a technique called Halley's method. Yes, this is the same Halley as the comet. Using Halley's method gives us this formula, which we can implement as a function in the Python programming language. We see that for 1, it gives us the omega constant. For e, it gives us 1. For 2, it gives us this number. We can also compute the value of the w function at pi or even at the imaginary constant i. Pretty cool. It turns out that the fixed point for negative exponentials and the Lambert w function are closely related. The equation b to the minus x equals x can be rewritten as x times b to the x, which can in turn be rewritten as x times e to the log bx. Multiply both sides by log b, and now we see that we are looking at the definition of Lambert's w function on log bx. So we can solve that log b times x equals w of log b, and therefore x equals w of log b over log b. So now we have a nifty formula for any negative exponential fixed point using the Lambert W function. With e, the comparison between the two is trivial. The fixed point of e to the minus x is w of 1, as the log terms cancel out. For the fixed point when the base is 2, we see that it is the same as w of log 2 divided by log 2. Same goes for 3, or pi, or even for i. Now since we can apply the Lambert W function to complex numbers, we can also graph it on the complex plane. Come on, you knew we were going to do this. 
First, let's review the graph for real numbers. Note that it's undefined for real numbers less than negative 1 over e, and has this gentle slope as it increases in the positive direction. We can use Python with the scipy and Maya vi packages to visualize the Lambert w function on the complex plane. It's an interesting graph. It has the singularity, or a cusp. If we rotate, we can see that this cusp is at minus 1 over e. And if we look at the graph from above, we can see a discontinuity along the x-axis, from minus 1 over e to minus infinity. These correspond to the undefined range on the real axis. If we instead plot the product of the real and imaginary parts of the Lambert w function, we can see the discontinuity even more clearly. And somewhere around here is our old friend the omega constant, a bit lost in the expanse, but nonetheless present. Do you have any thoughts about the omega constant or Lambert W function? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to CatSynth TV.